Our next caller is Matt from Texas. Hey, what's up, Matt? How can we help you? What's your question? Hi, thanks, Sal. Um, so my question is, I, uh, as a kind of a, a middle age lifter, I'm pushing 49. Um, I found that my uh, time constraints really only allow me to get in the gym consistently for about an hour, hour and a half, three times a week. And I've been running anabolic. I'm actually running on my, my third swim through that and love it. I really do. Um, but uh, And it fits my schedule really well. But I wonder if there's something else I should be doing uh, to progress from there. Um, you know, another program, I, I, I looked at aesthetic and it looks cool, but five days a week is, is going to be hard to do. Um, should I try to modify another program or look at playing with different things within anabolic, like tempos and things like that? Really just looking for some guidance on how I can, you know, keep enjoying this and, and progressing with the schedule constraints that I have. No, that's really, a, really good questions. Yeah, and you know, three days a week uh, is great for great long-term success, especially um, if you're, you know, in your age group. Um, I've trained people three days a week and gotten people to really advanced levels. Um, so I'm going to ask you a few more questions just so I can answer your question more specifically for you. Uh, first off, what are the kind of results and progress that you've experienced with MAPS Anabolic? And then what are some of the things that you'd want to work on um, now that you're potentially switching to a different program? Okay. Uh, so progress has, has been really cool. Um, you know, up until I started Anabolic, I'd messed around in the gym and never really seen much. But I've, I've really seen a lot of development in my back and uh, um, like to see more in my arms and my chest, of course, um, and maybe shrink the midsection a little, but, uh, um, you know, my, my goals for this are obviously overall health is, is most important. Um, but you know, somewhat of aesthetic, to be honest. I mean, I'd, I'd like to be a little bigger in, in my arms and my chest and, and just kind of fill out my t-shirts a little better. I do have to say all the shrugs and anabolic, um, none of my shirt collars fit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. You know, one Side of the, effect. The, 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 you know, and this is why we have so many different programs. They all have strengths and you know what, when, because they have strength, that means that they may lack in other areas. MAPS anabolic, phenomenal mass and strength builder. Okay. One of the, the downsides of MAPS anabolic is, uh, the lack of mobility work in it. Now, how does that apply to you? Well, if we can improve your mobility, the aesthetics are going to come faster and you're going to get a more balanced and symmetrical physique. The perfect program to move, especially if you've run MAPS Anabolic multiple times, the perfect program to transition to that will positively affect your aesthetics, especially, again, if you've done MAPS Anabolic a few times, is MAPS Performance. Now, I know we advertise MAPS Performance as an athletic training program, but it's exactly what your body's missing. And so what you're going to notice from MAPS Performance aside from the improvements in strength and you're going to move better, is all those exercises that you like in MAPS Anabolic, all those you know deadlifts and squats and presses that are building your physique right now, you're going to get better at them, and then those exercises are mm -hmm. going to do more for you. Um, the, other, the MAPS Performance also has mobility sessions, which you could do at home you know, when you have time with a broomstick, or just your body, and it really only requires a few days a week uh, in the gym. Yeah, to add to that, the more uh, secure and stabilized your joints get, uh, you know, the more responsive your muscles are going to feel, and you know, you're you're going to be able to allow more force production. So, um, you, you know, it may seem like it's uh, you know a totally different uh, goal that you're going to be facing with with a program like Maps Performance, but again, like to Sal's point, it really does sort of uh, address a lot of underlying issues that are going to come up later on in terms of, you know, you're going to find yourself super tight. You're going to find your, some impingements uh, starting to form that's going to limit progress going forward. So this is the the perfect follow-up for you if you can make it work with your schedule. Yeah, well, I, I think uh, I, Matt is really, um, you're an example, I think, of what we, we kind of envisioned when we were building the order of these programs, right? Like you really fit the demographic of our average client. Mm -hmm. Somebody who wants to be a little stronger, they care about health. Yes, they do. They'd like to sculpt and shape their body a little bit. How would we progress them through programs? And it really is. It's anabolic performance and then aesthetic. And the good news about both performance and aesthetic 
uh, you know, at, you look at it and it seems like you need to be in the gym five days a week, but you don't. They actually call for three days in a week. And then the other two days are like 20 minute sessions that can be done at home in performance. They're mobility focused. And so you're doing you could do that literally in your living room or in your garage or at home or on your lawn. It's it's it doesn't take that much time and it's designed to complement the programming that's in, in performance. And then if you move from there, you go into aesthetic and aesthetic is more on focused on building. So you said your chest and your arms. So that's exactly, we have the mold, moldability for whatever you want to focus on. So when you get to aesthetic, I would tell you your focus sessions to be chest and arms. And those are these 20 minute sessions that you can also do from home with bands or whatever you may have at your house to keep the program going. So all three of those programs only really require about three days inside the gym. And then the other bit of time can be done inside your home. And it is the perfect progression for somebody like you is to run anabolic like you've done, build a solid foundation, move into performance, which you're going to do, do all kinds of new dynamic type of exercises focused on the mobility, on the uh, uh, off days of training at the gym, and then eventually move your way into aesthetic. Yeah. And you know, trust the process because here's what's going to happen, Matt. You're going to go into performance. You're going to notice some uh, performance, definitely performance improvements, but you'll also notice aesthetic improvements. Then when you go to MAPS Aesthetic, the aesthetics are going to explode, but they have to be done in that order um, for for best results. Do you have access, by the way, to Maps Performance, Matt? No, I, I don't. Okay, well, you do now. We're going to send that over to you. Awesome. Thank you. That's great. No problem. And we appreciate your support a lot. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah great question. Yep. Hey, thank you all for everything. I, I really enjoyed following you. It, it's been really great. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, I really, I really love hearing stuff like that, especially so, from so a guy's lot, age. Yeah. And you know, um, and you know, I love that he's getting great results. Oh, he's uh, doing the right things. Yep, yep. And yeah. he'll get blown away. You know, I think you'll get people sometimes think, oh, I'm going to focus on performance and mobility. My aesthetics are going to suffer. They won't. They right. will get better. I think it's a regression, but That's really, right. yeah, you're just working on other things. You know, something I didn't get to say to him that hopefully he listens to this, so we can add to this is that. You know, we when we I think we talked a lot about this when we first started the show, when we first were creating the programs, and maybe we've gotten away from reminding people this that when we created these, uh, they were designed to to be moldable. You know, they weren't this. You have to follow it exactly to a T. So one of the cool things is if he goes from anabolic to performance and aesthetic, and he gets to experience all those those different ways of programming, he can start to grab and pick and choose from those programs. Yeah. So if he loves the anabolic layout of the three day a week coming to the gym and like that fits his lifestyle, he can totally take some exercises that we have put in performance to help improve mobility and work in different planes. He can take some exercises that we've had in aesthetic mm -hmm. oh, that are yeah. designed to build, uh, build, bring up lagging body parts like his chest and arms. And he can start to kind of piece it together in anabolic or in that type of a format and get some of those carryovers. And so that's really how these were all designed is that it's, it's like education to take you through this process. Then once you've gone through all the programs and you start to piece together what works really well for you, there's nothing wrong with you going, hey, I'm going to run a three day a week program because that works best for my schedule. But boy, I love when I do these exercises in aesthetic, I see my body respond really well. When I do these exercises in performance, man, it really helps my hip mobility. And I notice this with my shoulders, like start to build your own program that way from the knowledge that you gain from going through the other. Oh yeah. Programs. Once you learn your body, there is no better trainer than yourself. That's right.